Hi Taurus and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for September. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. And let's go ahead and get started and get a sense of the messages and energies for Taurus in September. Okay, so we start off with the world, Major Arcana. And with the world, we get a sense of completion here that a goal, a, a, a dream, a desire has resulted in you accomplishing it. And so you feel good about what you've done. You've put in the hard work. You may have had to sacrifice, negotiate, compromise, all the things that are part of really a path or a journey to reach goals. And so with the world, you feel pretty good about doing that. You feel content and you feel fulfilled. So it could be something small, it could be something bigger. And here, it's time to enjoy what you've done and to be noticed. And perhaps some people will recognize what you've accomplished and maybe they're going to celebrate you in some way. But this is a time to feel happy. You know, when we feel content and we feel fulfilled and that we've been able to accomplish something important to us, we feel pretty good. So for this week, you should feel good. You should feel good about what you've done. And then what you may be thinking about is what's next. You know, where, what's the next thing on your list or in your dream quest of what you want to accomplish. And so, you know, it's what, uh, what you're going to be bringing to the world after this. So with this beautiful card, this beautiful energy of completion and fulfillment, here we have the Six of Pentacles. And with the Six of Pentacles, we see the finely dressed merchant doling out coins to one of the beggars. He's holding scales, which is always a little curious because when we give, do we really measure it out precisely? So as we're in a position to give, the thinking is to help others from a genuine place. You know, help others when they need support. And it doesn't always have to be money. It could be a telephone call. It could be a favor. It could be driving someone to a doctor's appointment. It could simply be listening. Because in life, when you're able to help, you feel better. That also can uh, increase your fulfillment and your contentment. By the same token, uh, situations can change quickly. And you never know. You might be in a position where you need support. So if you are in a position where you need to ask for help, then ask for it. More often than not, people want to help. And so here we have the duality of this card, which is when you're in a position to be generous, to be kind, to be of service to others, then do so. Because you never know when your circumstance might change. So in terms of guidance... Okay, so guidance. Here we get a sense with the moon, major arcana, of uncertainty, of perhaps confusion, of not feeling very confident or clear of the path that you're taking. Sometimes when we look to the moon, we get lost. You know, we think we're going in the right direction and we end up, we're deeper and darker in the, within the forest. So, uh, you know, the moon is about what lies beneath the secrets, the subconscious, everything below the surface in many instances. Often when I think of the moon, I think of anxiety. And I think of it's that uncertainty which can be so... Uh, disruptive in its own way. So here with this sense of the moon and uncertainty and anxiety, you could be feeling anxious about 
where you're headed next, we have the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords is a card of stress, of worry, of not being able to sleep at night. Here, this person has their head in their hands. It's, to you, it's really important. You know, you're upset about something that's keeping you up at night. And again, everybody knows what this feels like. We've all been there where we have our days when it's just dreadful and you've, your mind is running so fast and it's just so hard to find peace. You know, the good news, however, is that this too will pass. And that ultimately, if you can just focus on small steps, of counting your blessings, of looking for the light, of looking for the good things that are happening, then you can start to maybe climb these swords and start to get away from this stressful feeling. Worry, again, we, we deal with worry, we deal with guilt and anxiety, and sometimes we make situations bigger because we keep adding on to it. So in terms of guidance, try to focus on what is good for you right now, and particularly this week, and how you can begin to lift your vibration to feel as if you can get past this. This is not a permanent situation. This is a temporary situation of feeling anxious, insomnia, worry, and stress. Let's see what our... our possible outcomes. Two of Swords, again the sword energy, which is uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Thinking, intellect, reason. With twos, we're often looking at decisions, decisions to be made. And in this illustration, you can see the person here, the woman is sitting on this bench arms crossed, swords crossed, blindfolded. And this could be something that you just can't make a decision about, that you're not ready to do so, you're not in the right place to be able to do so. And nothing is coming into your heart, maybe nothing is going out, it's simply not, uh, you're not ready, or you're not willing to deal with this issue right now. And that issue could be certainly part of this stress pocket here that you may have to make an important decision and you just feel that you can't, that they're, you're very confused. There will be a time when you're able to have a little more clarity uh, and perhaps when you feel better. But with this two of swords, you know, this is a real challenge to you in, in making a decision. It's a fork in the road for you. And so ultimately you may have to deal with the truth. You may have to get to the bottom of an issue before you can decide. And you'll be able to decide. But again, this one-two punch here of feeling stressed out, worried, and when you're in a worried place, it's hard to make decisions. It really is. And so this may be a, a case of deferring any decisions to be made. So a possible outcome, and I think this is a really important card for this spread, temperance, major arcana. It's a really clear message to you, which is you need to find balance and restore your equilibrium. Get back to a healing place. This is the flow of water, the dipping the toe in the water. It's connecting with your physical sense and spiritual or emotional self. Sorry, here's the spiritual, emotional foot on the on the ground is the connected 
the connected to earth and body. And so temperance is about balance, moderation, and integration. Pulling everything together to get yourself back into a place of balance. Because when we're not in balance, we have a hard time. And so whatever it is that you can do, if it's taking a nap, if it's taking a mental health day from work, if it's getting help, talking to someone, exercising more, many ways to help restore your balance, your uh, sense of um, peace and tranquility. If that involves prayer, because often when we're thinking about temperance, we check in with spirit, we check in with our angels. We might need to say a little prayer or two just to help us feel better. So finding your balance and counting your blessings for what you have is a start. It's a start to help climb out of a confused state, a stressed out state that is impacting decisions to be made. This accomplishment here may have taken a lot of wind to make to, or energy and, and um, you may be worried that how is it going to happen again? How am I going to do this again? But people are here to support you if you need support. If you're in a position to help, then help. Support is always there. You very well may need support from friends, from loved ones, from professionals to help guide you through or to help listen. You know, listening is so important. Having someone who can hear you out. You know, it's a wonderful uh, practical thing you can do to help climb out of a rough spot. So let's get a little more information from the Oracle cards and we'll see what we have. This is a meditation or focus point for the week. Desert Passage Trust there's a divine plan. And you may be thinking, where is that divine plan? Trust it will appear. It will present itself to you. And maybe it presents itself through your subconscious, through your dreams, through your intuitive um, talents, abilities. And now let's see what's going on for you with respect to spirit or emotional self. Live your joy. Thank you, angels, for supporting me as I follow my joy. And joy, uh, we have to think about joy. We have to be mindful that we want to bring joy into our experience. Some days, not every day is joyful, but if we can point our direction in the direction of joy and try to bring it into us, then that's important. So live your joy, count your blessings for what you do have. And finally, let's see what we have for love for the week. Have patience. Love is patient and kind, always. Have patience and... It takes patience to deal th through situations. Things don't turn around, you know, with a snap of a finger. And so uh, do the things, the, the, the daily actions and the daily steps to help you feel better.
to raise your vibration. This is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. I wish you a wonderful week and subscribe, like, share, or comment. I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.